Hey friends, thanks for joining me. I'm a little bit out of breath because man, today has been hard work but that's okay. I want to um, lay everything out and show you because I've done a huge grocery haul and I really want to make a um, haul video for you guys to show you what we've got. Um, Fi and I have recently started a new diet. So, gosh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've started a new diet and like a fitness program. It's like um, a fitness challenge for 21 days. And hopefully lots of the things that we do will you know continue on for way longer than 21 days. But one of the big things is that we're changing a lot of how we eat. Trying to eat more healthy, uh, less carbs. Um, but well, I shouldn't say less carbs. Less refined carbs. So no like white rice, white pasta and all that kind of stuff. Which we eat quite a lot of currently. And... Um, also, no sugar, no refined sugar. So, um, I mean, I had to go get some stuff to just replace those foods, right? Like, because we don't, if we're eating pasta all the time, I need to get some other things to eat, as well as it's just like tons of veggies and fruit and veggies and veggies and veggies. So we went and got a huge haul. I usually like to do my shopping once per month. If I can go once only for three to four weeks, I am super happy. I'm not sure though, we might have to go in a couple weeks though for just like fresh stuff. Um, you will see the chicken and the fish that I bought in a couple minutes, and then I have beef in my freezer, and bacon as well in the freezer, so we've got lots of meat, um, dairy, eggs, that kind of stuff is going to last us for a long time, but maybe fresh veg. We might have to go back. I went and did three stores today though. We did Superstore, Costco, and Bulk Barn. We live in Canada, so um, those are kind of my favorite places to shop usually. But I will just get into the haul now and show you. If you're not already following me on Instagram, I'm going to make a big effort to be sharing meal ideas and what we're eating on Instagram. So follow me along on there so that you can see like how we're using all of this food. By the time you see this video, I will probably already have posted some pictures. So go check out my Instagram. Go see what, um, yeah, what I use all this food to make. And... Um, yeah, let's just jump into it. I think that's all the explanation that you need about groceries, you know? It's groceries. It's food that we're going to eat. Right? Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start by showing you guys like the stuff that I need to get into the freezer and the fridge right away. Um, and this is, this first part is from Costco. So this is wild sockeye salmon. It was a little bit cheaper than usual, so we grabbed a bag. And haddock fillets, it's a really good price for fish. These are kind of our favorite fishes that we buy. They're both frozen and they're like vacuum packed individuals, so um, they, like, they stay good for ages and you just take out what you need. And then the Kirkland three berry blend is really cheap for so much berries and it's a family favorite. Everybody loves these and like with breakfast, snacks, I have a little like mesh feeder for Emmanuel that he like put them in and they chew on for their his tea thing, he loves that so these we go through like so much we probably buy like one a month and then milk because I can have milk although if I can't so I can still have milk and um, Esther drinks milk and also I make yogurt so I do have some milk left in the fridge but we I want to get more and then coffee cream for my coffee in the morning and then whipped cream for cooking with for Coffee, tea, like whatever. I love whipped cream and a lot of things. And also to like whip up if we're going to have a little treat. And then this is actually from Superstore. But I'm going to show you now because these obviously need to go in the fridge. Uh, the chicken was on sale. The chicken breasts. This was $18 for the package of chicken breasts. And then 7 ish bucks for each of these um, chicken leg quarters, they call them. Where it's got like the drumstick and the thigh. Um, not our favorite cut, but it's like so cheap, and it was well below half the price at cost than at Costco. So, and it was like it was a sale for this week. So I went and grabbed these because, you know, it'll be good, and I'll pop these in the freezer. So two of each, and then some fish, and I've got beef in my fridge. So um, one of the things that we are doing is we are eating a ton of eggs. Like between all four of us, we are eating about seven eggs a day. So. 60, two cartons of 60 eggs, and I also will probably make some into like freezer breakfast meals, 
and that way they won't go bad and I won't have to go back right away to buy. It's pretty handy with doing things. Uh, one thing that we're upping like a lot of what we're eating is like seeds and nuts and dried fruit. So I got at Costco, I got these tart dried cherries. These do have some sugar in them because they're sour cherries, but we are going to try them. And then almonds, pecans, and pistachios, mostly for snacks, but also I'm going to make granola. Put these in granola. Quinoa, and it was on sale. It was like seven bucks for this huge bag of quinoa. Hemp hearts. If you do not eat hemp hearts, check it out. 10 grams of protein and like two spoonfuls or something. Omegas, they're awesome. So we eat them like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, literally. Um, my husband got some protein shake stuff. We got, oops, we got omegas, omega threes for our daughter Esther. Almond butter, we're eating a lot of almond butter in lots of different things right now. We're avoiding peanuts for our diet, so almond butter. And then we got these um, crackers for snacks, mostly. Maybe tava soups. And then into the fresh produce we go. Grapefruits. Grapes. <laughs> uh, spring mix of lettuce and spinach. Limes. Asparagus. I have never bought Mexican asparagus before. I'm not sure how it's going to be, so we're going to try that out. I usually try to get local, but couldn't find any recently, so that was good. Tomatoes, mushrooms. I got the cremini mushrooms. I love these, like, on the grill and stuff. So yummy. Bananas. Um, we'll be making, like, banana protein pancakes lots. Ambrosia apples. And then these are... Yeah, the peppers, these are organic peppers, I think. Oh no, they're not. They were last time I got them. Anyways, um, these are super yummy. Oh, that's why. They're from Canada. They're Canadian, yay! So, we eat a ton of these as well. Like, all of us like them. And then, to try something new, I'd love to know if you've ever tried this and if it's good. But we got this for a treat, and I think it'll be great for, like, morning snacks. So, it's hummus. With dark chocolate. Ooh, and it has no refined sugar. It is sweetened with agave syrup. Is there anything else? Let me see. Agave. Oh, there is some brown sugar. Hey, and take and date paste. That's the other sweetener. Give it a go. It's probably not like the best, but for something a little bit different, I'm gonna try that. And then um, obviously we got toilet paper because you know. This is what you need in life. And we also got these charging cables because man, we just like, we destroy our cables. So we got a couple more. These were a great price at Costco. They're not like Apple brand, but very good price. Okay, so excuse all the mess everywhere, including my cookbooks. By the way, I will be sharing recipes from my amazing whitewater cookbooks in the coming weeks. Um, this is our the rest of our Superstore haul. So the other things that I got at Superstore was chicken, but that's already put away. So I got fresh beets with the beet greens so that I can make like wilted beet greens because I think that would be super yummy. And then I got radishes. They were 78 cents for a whole thing of radishes. I feel like that's a really good price. And then I got the baby cucumbers. I meant to get cucumbers at Costco and I forgot. And then I went into Superstore and the big cucumbers were so expensive. And then I found these ones on the like the um, discount rack and they're firm and they look fine. So that'll be great. Everybody loves those as well. And then I got two big clamshells of strawberries. They were a lot cheaper than Costco. I find when things are on sale at Superstore, it's a lot cheaper than Costco. If not, then Costco is frequently the cheaper option. So two of those because we'll be using a lot of these in snacks and breakfast and I want to try them with the chocolate hummus I got and then cilantro for salad and ginger for a few different things and then um, I got a couple of these teas every morning I work out before I eat and then to break my my fast essentially I drink one of these with a little bit of fresh lemon juice in it and it's super good and then something that I'm going to be adding into our diet for Fi and I is aloe vera gel. 
this one is great and you can eat it and also I want to make like some hair products and stuff with it because my hair is sad so <laughs> I really like this brand so I got that and then the last thing I got from there was the watermelon if I would let Emmanuel he would like eat the entire watermelon all at once he loves watermelon I've never seen a child that loves watermelon so much so this was four bucks for a big watermelon so I got it for him and that is everything that I got at Superstore. Um, just really filling up our fridge with tons of fruit and veggies. And the last place is Bulk Barn, which I will show you in a moment. I actually just found this as I was going through everything. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything else. But this I got at Costco as well. Uh, two big bottles of water because we've gone through a few different bottles of water right now. And right now I'm like using plastic, reusable plastic, but I really don't want to be using plastic. So I'm going to try these. I think they look really nice and really good um, and pretty big. Like that's an issue that if they're under a liter, they're not big enough for me. I drink so much water. So um, yeah, hopefully these ones will be good. And so that was another non-food item that we got at Costco. And then this is my bulk barn haul. Not this. Just the stuff can't believe like this teeny amount right here is 50 bucks holy smokes um so these are dried apricots unsweetened unsulfured dried apricots they look really ugly but they taste amazing oh hey where are da our dates i also got dried dates at costco because there's such a great price there i don't know where those are that's random they must be in the car i did eat them on the way home so they, they came on with us this is another kind of dried cherries these are bing cherries I got these ones to compare to the ones that we got at Costco, which ones we like better. Chia seeds. This is something that's highly recommended that we eat for snacks, so like to make like chia pudding and that kind of stuff. Black rice. Um, we're not supposed to eat white rice anymore, so I have brown rice in my fridge or in my cupboard, and then I got black rice to change it up a bit. This like short grain black rice is um, has tons of health benefits to it. And it's also a little bit lower in carbs than some other kinds, I thought. And certainly lower than the wild rice that I was going to buy. I was going to go and buy wild rice. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, this is way lower in carbs. I'm going to grab this one. And then this is unsweetened shredded coconut. And pumpkin seeds. And these two things and some other ingredients that I already have are to make granola. So I will be showing... You guys, at least on Instagram, my granola. We love granola. So yummy. I hope you enjoyed watching. And I hope that you will check out the meal ideas that I'll be making on Instagram. And I may also post them on Facebook. We'll just see. Um, yeah, because I've really gotten into a thing lately that I like to look at what other people are eating for ideas. I'm stuck in a rut and I'm trying to find news ideas. So if you want some ideas, check it out. And... Um, Stay tuned to my channel if you want to see more content, lots more recipes and food ideas coming up soon because, hey, food is yummy. I'm going to share food. We're into it. You know, who isn't? Um, I hope you enjoyed and we'll join me next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.